Keith Tebow, FRC Media. Thank you for joining us today as we continue to provide updates on the impacts of COVID-19 within our community. You know, we've had the opportunity to talk a lot about how local schools will be reopening this fall in the face of the COVID-19 pandemic. We've talked a lot about four of the public schools, but there are a number of other schools in the city that are also dealing with uh, some of these issues. I'm pleased to be joined now by the principal at Bishop Conley High School, Kathy St. Laurent. Kathy, uh, thank you for joining us and welcome. How are you? Thank you, Keith. A pleasure to be here. I'm very well. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so, you know, there's been a lot of, of talk about how schools will reopen. The four Republic schools are trying to work on some sort of hybrid model. Of course, the state is, has asked for three scenarios from each school a complete remote learning, a complete in-person learning, and a hybrid model. What is Bishop Connolly going to be doing when it reopens this fall? Well, most certainly the safety and the well-being of our students is paramount. And so the plan that we've developed puts that at the forefront, uh, coupled with creating the best learning experience possible. So we'll be beginning our year uh, with a hybrid model, and we've divided our student body into two cohorts, our younger students, freshman, sophomore, and our older students, junior, senior. And we'll be doing a one week on, a one week off. So one week in person and one week remote learning. So in terms of, um was there any consideration at all as trying to go fully 100%? Um, I know with the public schools, it was just a space issue, right? You couldn't keep um, everyone six feet apart and provide the proper social distancing. Was that something similar you faced there at Bishop Connolly? Well, you know, we certainly have a beautiful campus uh, and, and space, but really wanted to make sure that we're following all of the safety regulations given to us by the Department of Public Health. And we felt it was best uh, at least to begin this way so that we really could take that opportunity to reduce class size, to have people separated, everyone wearing masks, uh, and really provide uh, the attention that we know our students will need because it's certainly an adjustment for everyone coming back. Um, as far as communicating this with, uh, you know, the teachers and the parents, what have their responses been? Are there still some people who are a little concerned about uh, how safe uh, the, the school will be coming up in, in September? We have a wonderful community and uh, we're really blessed with great supportive parents. We've been in touch with our parents and, of course, our teachers right since March. Um, to the best of our ability, keeping them posted on everything. And we've really received a lot of positive feedback about our plan. Uh, of course, we're always open to taking parent uh, questions. We actually have a forum for our parents this evening, virtual forum to uh, answer any additional questions. We want them to feel comfortable and safe, but we really do have a great community. People are excited to get back to school. Now, what have been some of the protocols that have been taken at Bishop Connolly in terms of making sure you know, uh, you know, surfaces are clean, facilities are clean, distances, uh, social distancing is taking into effect. I mean, I guess what type of replanning have you needed to do to make sure that the school is physically ready for when students return? Boy, it's certainly been a lot of planning and the physical facility is a major part of that. So what we've done is we've uh, reduced our class sizes. We have put signage on desks to separate students in compliance with the Department of Public Health regulations. We are installing the touch-free hand sanitizers, the signage for one-way hallway, um, and also for, for distancing. Um, we also have ordered and received uh, months of supplies of PPE equipment so that everyone will be safe and protected. We've also done an enormous amount of planning with our faculty in terms of what the remote learning will look like um, and also what our in-person time will look like. So we've changed our schedule. We've put in time for advisory so that all of our students in a small group will have uh, an adult that they see every day and really want to focus on social and emotional wellness for our students. Um, and also that the instruction time uh, that we're giving our kids is really well spent. So it is, it's a lot of planning, uh, but of course we want to do this in the way that optimizes our experience here at school and also at home. One question I failed to ask right off the bat is when will school start at Bishop yeah. Connolly? When will this plan go into effect? That's probably very important, isn't it? <laughs> it sure is. It sure is. So we begin on August 31st and okay. August 31st and September 1st, that Monday and Tuesday, will be teacher professional development days. 
And then on the Wednesday, which is uh, September 2nd, we start bringing our students in and we're going to bring them in by grade level. Each group will have a different day of that week to come in to get oriented to our new practices and protocols, to have time to meet their teachers, go through a rotation of their schedule. And then beginning the week of Labor Day, we will start full force with our freshmen and sophomores in person and our 11th and 12th graders on their remote week and then switch uh, subsequently after that. So all students in effect will be in the classroom that first week, September 2nd, 3rd and 4th, if my yeah. math is right. Yeah. Everybody right. will have a day. Yep. They'll each have a day uh, for their class to be here where okay. they can, um, you know, get back to their building, look around, get acclimated to what the regulations are going to be. Uh, it's really important, I think, for the students to be together, for them to know that they're safe and secure in their building, and also to ask questions that they may have. So, yep, that first week, every group will be in physically for one day. How is the school handling um, any extracurricular activities? We know that the state has come out in terms of some guidance in terms of athletics and how that may look. Um, how is that going to work at, at Bishop Connolly to, to try to provide that well-rounded education oh, yeah. for students? I think that's such a great point that you're making. You know, um, so important to provide a holistic, well-rounded atmosphere for our students. In terms of athletics, our athletic director is in a communication with the MIAA and we're following all of the guidelines. Currently, uh, we're looking at fall sports that will at least be, be golf. Um, according to what they tell us, we can and can't do. And we're keeping apprised of any changes that take place. But what, we will certainly follow through with what is allowed by the MIAA. In terms of other extracurricula, again, we're following all the guidelines from the education commissioner. Um, as well as the Department of Public Health, and we'll provide whatever clubs, organizations we can do while maintaining social distancing, because it's so important to have that rich, holistic experience. I want to go back to uh, this past March. In some ways, it seems like it was yesterday. In other ways, it seems like it's been so long ago. Uh, when the, the pandemic hit and things were shut down, um, how did Bishop Connolly handle it? Um, how was the rest of the school year for, for your students there? And I guess you've learned a lot as you're moving forward. We sure have. But, you know, remote learning was not new to us. Uh, our Catholic schools have been doing remote learning for snow days for several years. So our last day here on the Bishop Conley campus was March 13th, that Friday. On Monday, March 17th, whatever the day was, uh, 16th, we we began, you know, we did not miss a beat because we were, you know, prepared to do it. So we were all remote. We did learn a lot from it. Our kids were amazing. They worked really, really hard. Our teachers were fantastic. They worked hard. We kept in communication with our parents, our teachers. We did um, virtual instruction and we also had special education services provided. So we really had a, a good end of year, as good as we could make it. Certainly students missed being in person, but you know, as I say, we were prepared to go with full remote learning and should that need arise again, we'll be ready to go again. I guess that was going to be my next question. A lot of it, of course, is dictated by the pandemic, right? And it's got its own schedule. We don't know what that is. Right. But what what types of benchmarks do you think you'll need to see to take that next step to maybe go more uh, in person uh, than not? Well, certainly that would come from um, the governor and also the Department of Public Health, uh, depending on you know what the guidelines are for schools. Uh, if we needed to go remote because uh, we had students who were affected or the governor felt it wasn't safe or any of the metrics changed. We're able to do that with, with actually no other preparation. We're ready to go to full back to full remote learning should the need arise. You know, as you say, um, there are some things out of our control. This certainly uh, is situation with the pandemic is. But, you know, what is in our control is making sure that we're providing really good instruction, whether we're here in person, hybrid. Uh, or whether we have to go all remote. So again, we are in close touch with all the agencies who give us guidance on uh, public health and following uh, along very closely. Uh, prior to our talking, you had mentioned that um, Bishop Connolly has approximately 230 uh, students. Um, right. Is there still a lot of interest in the school? Has, has that number gone up? Is there a, a more of an influx this year with freshmen? Um, how does the enrollment look? And, and what's been, has there been any change at all since 
COVID in terms of gaining some interest? Yeah, we certainly have had an interest um, from families who are looking for that individualized experience and um, wanting to have their children in school. So yes, we have seen an uptick in, in that. Um, and we're very happy to talk to any families who might be interested in our school. We certainly do have room for, for more students. Our admissions are our rolling admissions. We're open for that. Um, and yes, we have had uh, more interest in that as well. So we're excited to welcome our students and families back and to open our doors to any a family who really is looking for a really solid remote experience and hybrid model in-person experience as well. How's been the, how has the communication been rather between um, the school and say either, you know, I, I know I'm sure that, you know, you, you speak in, in close contact with um, Fall River Public Schools and the city of Fall River. How's that, that communication been in terms of sharing of information? You know, do you look at one another and say, hey, how are you handling this and how are you doing that? I mean, how important is to share that information and how's the cooperation been from the city in general? Wonderful. And we, we always have enjoyed a wonderful relationship with the Fall River Public Schools. So our superintendent's office um, keeps us apprised of all major changes. We have great relationships and communications with the Fall River Public Schools in terms of the, um, you know, the CARES Act and ESSER funding to provide equipment. We've worked with them for the ordering of equipment. Uh, wonderful. We have a great cooperative relationship and also within our diocesan Catholic schools, our school leadership meets virtually uh, regularly uh, with our superintendent and assistant superintendent so that all of us are feeling comfortable and can have our questions answered and talk together, you know, about best practices. Kathy St. Laurent, the principal at Bishop Connolly High School. I want to thank you for joining us. Boy, you're, you're getting to work pretty soon, about two weeks, right? You'll be, uh, you'll be up and running and getting ready to go. So I want to thank you for your time and, and have a great day. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. All right, I want to thank you for joining us as well here at FOC Media. I'm Keith Tebow. Have a great rest of your day.